Uh, most people get quite confused about the name of the books because obviously my name's Stephen Webb, but I write under the pen name of Sean Lewisham. And most questions ask me is, why Sean, why Lewisham? Which is quite easy because, again, being self-employed, putting the mechanics into place, I like to think all things idiot proof. Sean begins with S, it's got five letters. Stephen begins with S, it's got five letters. That simple. Lewisham's a little bit darker. I've got a best mate called George Glenn Lewis, who um, was framed by the West Midland series Crime Squad. I had a little bit of conflict with the nurse and midwifery council. What they did to me was a sham, Lewis sham, and also as a chapter in the book, um, a female decides that she wants to put a knife in my neck. She's from Lewisham in London, and hence the fact the name evolved from there, Sean Lewisham. How did I come self-employed is a very, very, very long story. Originally, my roots like mental health nursing. Unfortunately, I lost my job, which is an even longer story. As a nurse, I had to reevaluate my pathway in life. Unfortunately, as a youth and as a, an adult, I got into trouble with the police, for whatever reasons, which made it extremely hard to get a conventional job because of my CRB. Therefore, I didn't want to be committed to a life on benefits because it's now a life to lead, so I had to reevaluate my progress and I decided to become self employed. Then again you have to understand what sort of what can you do being self employed, so I decided to write a book about my life story, which is called I've been medicated, which is quite successful, and that's how I got the pathway. However, it wasn't quite that easy because becoming self employed is quite a complicated process. Most people think it's easy. You simply just decide to start a business, you don't, you need a lot of input, you need a lot of advice, you need a lot of help. So I communicated with Birmingham Chamber of Commerce to see the rudiments involved and I was then referred to Una Brown whose input has been invaluable in helping me progress to this level now. I've had, I've had some bad times because obviously as I, as I said, when you go into this, this, this forum, this fulcrum, it's a very much of a dog eat dog world where you it's it's highly competitive and your books are open to a critique when the critique comes in then you go through the bad times with it as well because you realize that maybe your work wasn't finished maybe you did need the extra funding to come in to allow you to take it to that different echelon uh the bad times come when ripper when ripper went from up there overnight to down there overnight and then the realization that maybe your hobby of becoming a businessman is turning from a dream into a nightmare and then the poverty starts to kick in as your sales dwindle and then the bills start coming in and then you realise you need the extra support that people can provide you with. Um, whatever people say, it's not easy being self-employed, it's a 24 hour job. If you haven't got the money, you can't go out there and get it, you then start to struggle. The bills start, it's the same for anybody else. If you haven't got a job, you can't afford to live and they are the bad times and anybody who knows about poverty realises being poor is no fun. Who would I recommend to help somebody with a self-employed? Birmingham Chamber of Commerce was a viable commodity for me. However, it all depends on the individual assessor, your key worker, whoever, whatever you want to attribute it to. Because if you can connect with them, then it will motivate you. I, unfortunately, through my stages, through both when I was a mental health nurse and in within the mental health system, came across a variety of people who seemed demotivated. You go there, you sit across the table, you look at them, they just want to give you the basic rudiments and get you out the door as part of a government instilled quota, be it Labour, be it Conservative. Birmingham Chamber of Commerce is only as good as the people that work within it. Now, I was lucky enough to be referred to Una Brown, who was very, very, very good. She was motivated, she was energised. And when I went to them, I was going through quite a low ebb. The business had come to a point where I had to re-sign on the dole, which I didn't want to do. It's self-destroying, it's, it's self-defeating. However, since then, I went to start across a year and I was, I was expecting the same old rhetoric to come out and it was just, okay, I'll do it, but I'll have to do it all on my own again. Rebuild the devices there. They put something into place that matched my drive, my motivation, my enthusiasm to succeed. And since then, I think it was a year ago, I'm no longer on the dole. I've now had mechanics into place, I have a professional proofreader, I have a business manager, the books are again looking to go forward, it's reinvigorated me and it's given me the desire to work more hours than I've ever worked before because I know there's a driving force behind me. 
So in that respect, I think Birmingham Chamber of Commerce need a big thumbs up because it was their organisation who initially gave me the motivation, the drive to push forward. My plans for the future. Um, my second book released was a um, psychological thriller called Ripper. Ripper got to number two in the country. Only Fifty Shades of Grey kept it from number one. Thank you, Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, it was written, but unfortunately it wasn't proofed. I was naive at the time. I was very, very new to being an author. I didn't really understand the mechanics involved in it. So subsequently, I have pulled all my books apart from obviously overly medicated because I wanted to retain that sharp but raw feel because that was my life. Ripper will be released in on March the 5th this year. After that, I have another five completed manuscripts that will go out to my proofreader that will be finessed and they will be available on the market. They will be released in four monthly stages. I'm currently writing Gangland, which is a sequel to Raid, which is, again was a critically acclaimed book. And after that, we will have the third part of the Walker Burke trilogy, Ripped. And obviously, Walker Burke was first featured in the novel Ripper which was again was the one that came, which was ranked number two in the country.